Hello everybody and welcome back to the Sinking City. We are finally back playing this game again. I'm looking forward to getting through it right. Okay, what we were doing been a long time. Um okay, Quid Pro Quo. Frogmorton's expedition was attacked in the depths beneath Oakmont. I remember this now, it was underwater, weren't we? Professor Harriet Doe expedition's leader was captured, the others were all left to die. The attackers all had distinctively fish-like features, Innsmouth Syndrome as the locals call it. One of the assailants was killed in the fight, he carried a dagger and a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fish eye. This can't be the only attack they have carried out, there must be evidence of more such crimes throughout the city. I'm going to have to go to a police station aren't I? Okay, so where is the nearest police station? Carpenter Manor, Frogmortar Manor... Where is the police station? That's the university. There's the police station, which means I have to go there. I need to fast travel, don't I? Uh, isn't this a fast travel point? This one here. There, I can fast travel there, can't I? There we go. We'll get there. We'll get back into it, it might take a couple of videos. If we might get back into it just in one video, you never know, but it has been a while since we played this game. And when we originally started doing this, it was um, to try and raise as much money as possible for some of the charities in Ukraine, for what they're going through. And sadly, they are still going through that right now. Now we're doing it as live streams before, now this is just going to be videos. Now what I will do is I will add the link into the chat for just giving, just in case anyone does want to give anything to it. The charity I chose was for the animals, like the cats and dogs and all the other animals that sadly were left behind in the areas that we got, got invaded. Oh, Don't missed. waste my time, newcomer. Yeah, I forgot the people here aren't very nice, are they? Okay, so where we gotta go? In here. Okay, we need to look at crimes. To be a violent crime, won't it? Um, suspects, witnesses, victims, officers. Uh, Suspects. Evidence. Instrument of crime. We've got that weapon, haven't we? Search. No information. That one. There we go. At about 10.30pm, April 15th, at the Fish Market, Eastern Shell's corner of Orchid, Avey and Holly Fire Lane, I apprehended a suspicious-looking Innsmouth as he was stalking a young woman. The suspect had in his possession a peculiar golden amulet which resembled a fish eye seized as well as a dagger seized. The suspect resisted arrest. When I tried to cuff him he cried for help screaming for his brothers from EOD. Several other armed Innsmovers appeared from the fish market. I was forced to release said Innsmover and retreat. The suspect got away. The case is pending further investigation. Lieutenant Phelps. Oh, okay. Number 19. Okay, so I can probably find these people. So I need to go to the fish market, don't I? Oh, where is the bloody fish market now? I forgot. Oh, this is where I'm going to have to get into. Okay, fish market. We need to find the fish market on the map. Devil's Reef Hotel, infested area. That's a newspaper area, isn't it? Chronicle. No, 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 no. Altman City Port. No. Where's the fish market? Devil's Reef Hotel. Okay, where is this fish market case book? Fish Market, Eastern Shell's Corner of Orchid Avenue. Orchid Avenue. Orchid Avenue. I need to find Orchid Avenue. 
Ambrosia Street. Old Colony. Eastern Shells, corner of Orchid Avenue, Holy Fine at Eastern Shells. Holy Fire Line, Eastern Shells, where's that? Eastern, sh the shells, so we need Eastern Shells. Trusty Street. Not that. Let's read height. Culver side. Grimhaven bait. Is that in it? Eastern Shells. Corner of Orchid Avenue. And Holy Fire Lane. Holy Fire Lane here. Orchid Avenue. Up there. Danger. No, 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 no. Idiot. Place marker. There we go. So I have to go all the way over there. I'm going to have to fast travel there, I think, if anything. I think it's quite far away. So I have to go... Here, yeah? This is where I need to get to. Actually, that ain't too bad. I could just travel by boat. Yeah, let's just get to a boat, and I can travel there. Oh, what was that? Glitched. people. Right, find the fish market. Let's see. Fish market? Here we go. I need to find someone to talk to now. I'm in the fish market. I need to speak to someone if I can. Take as you. Much as ah, I'm not in the mood, newcomer. If you want to talk, see Anna. She's in charge here. This Anna. Fish? Fresh fish? Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy. We have enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. This city is short on everything except dirt, rain, and things that want to kill you. Yet, you just give away food for free. What's your angle? Angle? <laughs> There's no angle, Charlie. N not everyone can hide in fancy manners like the grand families. And our hearts tell us we must do more. We've decided to seize our own fate and rise above this disaster. I think it's going well. The sea is good to us, and it blesses us with abundance. 
What is the EOD? I mean, what, what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit charitable organization. <laughs> Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh. How do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. Uh, to call me Charlie. Um, what does EOD stand first. for? Everyone's obvious duty. When we began, it also had is to help each other. But we dropped that part. It was a little bit wordy. It's been great chatting with you, but I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, you're kidding me. What for? <laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, Charlie. It's Charles, not Charlie. Oh, but you're too sweet to be a Charles. Your adorable, rugged hangdog look just screams Charlie to me. Puts a smile on my face. Oh, fine. So, uh, are there any benefits for joining the EOD? We don't do this for money, Charlie. We do this because it's the right thing to do. Think of it as working towards a higher purpose. How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Huh. Well, I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. Never since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> the sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Uh, you need me to sail somewhere? I have a boat. As much as I'd love to go sailing with you, I actually had something else in mind. Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily, the guards scared him off, but... I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Exactly. Fine. Count me in. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password, I serve the sea, and he'll let you into the storeroom. Okay. See you later. Okay, so now, new palace. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Well, okay, I need to go hawking line between Warren Road and Liberty Road. Warren Road and... Warren, Warren Road and Liberty. Where's Liberty? Warren and Liberty is a hawking line there. I do. Oh, what was the thing? Mine Palace. Altman is starving. The OD helps prevent famine, but the fish provided by the OD, the city is at risk. Okay. Let's go find what we let's go find out what we can uh, do to help them. Can we go in here? No, we can't go in every house. Only some. Damn 
newcomers. Oh, someone's angry. I knew I'd have to go in the water eventually. This is one horrible, depressing city, isn't it? Oh, that's a big boat. Oh, no way, is that a transport for people? I wonder if we can get on one of them. This bit is the guard. You got business here. I serve the sea. I serve the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break in. <sighs> sea be praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Can you tell me what happened? Don't skimp on the details. Yeah, not much to tell, sadly. It was a man, that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane. But I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah. That's a bit of a puzzler. What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. Average Joe. If not for his uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. And what did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. What's the deal with the, the password and such? Orders from the higher-ups. I don't get to ask why. All right. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've got to go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we got this. Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. On your monsters, freak! Oh, you freaky monster! Fucking monsters! That cat's dead.
That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. There's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna get down first before I go up. Thing's dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. So is the fish poisoned? That ain't good. Shell casings. I think in here. I think there's gonna be more things upstairs by the looks of it. this there's something in here There's something in this building, but I'm not sure what. Gunpowder. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Okay, dear Mr. Grimes, we can't thank you enough for what you do for the children in these dark times. Your toys go down like a tall glass of water. We will pray for your good health every day. We also kindly of remind you that we still await your visit. All our staff and of course the children are eager to finally meet our benefactor in person. So please don't hesitate and come as soon as you're able with eternal gratitude. Administration of Oakman St. Jerome's Orphanage. There's something down there I've got to go to in a sec. Let me just look everywhere first before I go down there. Maybe it's that. There's one more in there. It's upstairs. Okay, so I'll go upstairs. There's another one. Oh, there's one here. Darn pests! Mare, take them. Okay, let's see what we have here. That's not the first one, is it? I don't think that's the first one. The first one will be down here, won't it? It'll be... That one, or this one. It's maybe this one. I hope Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Okay, maybe this one now. Just a little bit more.
He's upstairs, so that's free. Darn pests! Mare, take them. And then it's this one in it for. Come back, you thief! I'll show you not to mess with us. A man broke into the fish storage, poisoned the fish with an unknown substance, then made a noise which alerted the guard, who chased him out. Okay, mine palace it is. Okay, we got Laura as well, while I'm at it. That's from the orphanage. We've already read that one. Case book. Key label that. Mine palace, okay. Fish is poisonous. Mention of a presser. There we go. Large quantities of possible poison fish were dis distributed. Poison fish is spreading. Yeah. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay. This is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Anna will quarter you. <laughs> You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna, she's ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, EOD member or not. That's unexpected. Huh. But he's not... He's not... He's not... It's not his fault. Don't worry. I won't tell her. You seem like a decent sort, Daryl. I'll, uh... I'll make something up. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Here's a little something to express my gratitude. Take care now. Still, I've done wrong and I deserve to be punished. I'll stay on guard duty for the next month without a day off. You have my word. Alright, you, uh... You go ahead and do what you gotta do, I guess. See ya. May the sea protect you. I'm gonna go back to that island there then. Um, new mine palace clue. Case book. Please ask me to report my findings to Anna at the fish market. Okay. Okay. I've got to go and speak to Anna, haven't I? She's back at the fish market. That's an infested area over there. Well, I'm not going over the infested area anymore. I'm going back to the market. I need to speak to her and tell her what the hell's going on. Hey, that's. Okay, nearly there. Won't take long for me to get there. I can get this way. Can all these people carrying rakes around? Much as you need. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. 
I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know. But I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. What do you want me to do with the poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome, if you know what I mean. I'll, uh, see what I can do. One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? He fought like a lion. Uh... Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me, he deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye, Charlie. Now, refresh my memory. Where's, uh, where's the university here? I know it very well. Here, give me your map and I'll show you. You were a student there, I take it? Yes, that's right. I earned my degree there a while ago. Are you surprised? I just wasn't expecting to see a college graduate working here is all. I never had the opportunity myself. I could say I'm a bit jealous. You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always accepted women with open arms. See you later. Okay, I'm going to talk to her Glad again. to see you again. Okay. Um, let's see. She's giving us a place. Um, where's the university? That's it, isn't it? Face expedition. No, that's not it. I need the university. Delete that. I need to find the university. There it is. Is that it? Open University Library. That's where I need to go, isn't it? I connect it to the university. I need to visit the university. So, place on map. I need to go to that. And now I need to. I need to get there. The nearest fast travel point is nowhere. So I just need to get the. I need to get on a boat and go towards that. about you guys but I'm rather enjoying doing this again I'm not going that way that's infested yeah we know best then to go into the infested areas weapons we've got we're not good enough to go in there yet they'll probably just wipe us out I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna go this way Oh crap, no, that's infested. I was going to turn there. No, I need to make a turn. Okay, it's not this turning, it's the next one. Oh, well, I can get through there, but that's blocked off for a second. This area is infested, is it? No. Oh no, there's people walking around being fine. Oh, I like this area. This area is cool. Oh, this area is creepy. Let's get to the university, wherever that is. 
that it? Is that it? That's not the university, is it? Oh, maybe it uh, is. Hello? Hello. Welcome to Oakmont University Library. Joy Hayden, can I help? Uh, what Charles the Reed, fuck? Private investigator. What she's... What the fuck she done with her mouth? I apologize for my bluntness, but can I ask you a question? That's weird. Mouth? Yeah. Punishment. Long story. Again, sorry for me being so direct, but that can't be legal, can it? This looks like... It looks like torture. Legal in Oakmont. Local custom. Huh. What the hell, man? I need to see your book catalogs. Sure. Over there. And that's it? No payment, no threatening, no favors in return? No. Library public. Knowledge for everyone. Welcome. Well, that's music to my, uh, eyes. This city doesn't look like it has much need for books, except as fuel for fires. How come the library is in such good shape? Mr. Throgmorton. Funds. Keeps everything in check. Really? Huh. I wouldn't have thought that of him. I wonder why. He says people need hope, entertainment, escapism. Now more than ever, can't imagine library without his help. Bye, Joy. Let's have a look around. Okay, I don't want to go in there yet. Okay, this isn't really going to help me, is it? I need... Okay. Ooh. Is this the university? Is this the university library? Am I in the wrong place? What did she say? Okay, where, where is she put, where is, where is that? What's that? Altman City Hall. Oh, put me, there it is. I'm miles away from it. Altman University. Anna's request. ELD fish storage, I've done that. So that's the university all up there. Shit me, that's miles away. Okay, so I'm at the wrong place, I'm at the library. I need to get to that, but I can fast travel. I don't need to, do I? I need to just travel over there. So what I need to do is place a mark in there. Okay. That's where I need to get to that university where she went to. Oh, at least we get to visit a new location. This is pretty cool. Can always come back and explore. God, this is so cool. It is one creepy ass city. Okay, I do need to get on the boat now. Fresh fish, fresh fish. Just
infested area down there. What is that? A glitchy building over there. Does it look like it's loaded into the map? Okay, there we go. I think that's the university, isn't it? Find something you like. Is this the place I need to go? Department of Medicine, no, that's a Department of Medicine, I need to go to University. Is that it there? Extra, extra, all the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper. Oh, no, thank you, I don't want your newspaper. It doesn't look very good. Oh, this is cool. Hello, everybody. What are you doing? Wendell sent you to deliver me the books, right? Um... No, look crazy. Must have me confused with someone else. Oh, excuse me. I'm just worried for the fate of these tomes. It's been a week without news from Wendell. Maybe you can help me. I I'd reward you, of course. Who the hell is Wendell? Why not? What can I do? Oh, marvelous. Let's get acquainted then. Samuel Hopes, honorary member of Altera Pa's book club. Charles Reed, private eye. Good, good. Listen, we're missing three rare books. One was taken for restoration while the other two were being studied. I asked Windle to contact all parties, but he's gone quiet. Here's our records. Please, retrieve the tomes. They're so very valuable. Okay. Why are they so valuable? They're the third, seventh, and ninth tomes written by the humble servant. The collection of all 11 books is our most prized possession. The author's real name is a mystery, but we know that he was an Oakmonter for sure. Okay, I'm on it. Everybody, everybody in this game looks absolutely shattered, don't they? Their eyes closed. Oh, for God's sake. Welcome to, to the University of Oakmont. Uh, how can I help you? You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? Uh, uh, sorry. We have hundreds of b bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, an analysis. Well, I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. Uh, okay. I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Uh, specimen? Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You have a good day. G g goodbye, I remember sir. where it is it's there. I don't need him to tell me because it's over here. We've walked past it. Sir, welcome to Oldmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Yeah, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes, you solve all problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. Well, that's fair. I'll make sure I've actually got my guns ready. Hang on. Um, inventory. Can I make some more bullets? Oh, 
Okay. Stupid monsters. I'm looting. That's what I do. I come around and I loot everything. Let's go and tell him. Your lab is certified creature free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Your lab was, uh, interesting. Running experiments on those creatures. What's up with that? Oh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree. Can you blame us for taking an interest? Maybe not, but so much dead flesh down there, that's going to attract scavengers. Didn't you think about that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> well, be more careful in the future. Your point's taken. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. Okay. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow-acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. And where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait. You don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key. But please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for... well... At least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beasts that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable, and easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you later. Look 
climb over this? Yes, I can. Yay, okay. What the... F <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Yeah, I wouldn't be fighting that. If that was in here, I'd be like, fuck it. Okay, March 10th, with those pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiment unhindered. I need to know more. The specimen remained alive, even with half its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. March 15th, I developed a way to reanimate that tissue, even in one that's been dead for weeks. This is monumental. The possibilities of it, the implications. Does this hint at something hidden, some trait present inside other creatures, and perhaps perhaps even ourselves I will need to find volunteers oh this guy's a nutcase oh my god what kind of person would even touch this not to mention dissect it the best thing for him is to kill them I wonder what would happen if I press this button should I or shouldn't I I need to take some of his sanity things, don't I? Okay. So very tempting. Press it. Press it, press it, press it, press it, press it. Oh god, could we... To read, okay. March 2nd, I have finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's only the smallest one. The grunts call it Mr. Handsome, but I think it needs a proper name. March the 3rd was thinking about this, but the name for the specimen all night. I began a series of experiments on the creature. So far, it has proven exceptionally resistant to all the poisonous substances at my disposal, as well as acid and electrocution. It's shrieking that was bound to haunt me. March the 5th, last night I had a vision, thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket, and I heard the name inside my head, Stygian Harvester. Holy shit, nope. 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 Holy shit, what have I done? I'll see you later. Dude, I'd run. There's a big fucking monster downstairs. Holy shit. Holy shit, look at the size of it. Oh shit, 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 I'm not fighting that man. Fuck. Oh my god. What have I done? I've got to kill it. I can't leave it there. I've got to kill it, haven't I? You stupid monster. Come on. Okay, yeah, I need better weapons. Dude, I've just revived that big monster. You better get out of here. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Oh my... Like, screw that, man. Like, what the hell? Oops-a-daisy. I'm 
gonna finish this video in a bit anyway. Oh my god in heaven. Right. Yeah, you can hear that kicking off. It's downstairs. Anyway guys, I'm going to finish this video here and in the next one we're going to investigate this area and try and put down that monster. Anyway guys, until next time, take care and thank you for watching.